Okay, let's take a look at Gavin Newsom. His integrity, his, his honesty, and his relentless pursuit of giving, it, giving all he has and his trust to the people of California. I didn't think any punches particularly landed. A lot of people talking over each other. Uh, I think DeSantis has a lot to answer to. I know we were just talking about that uh, because he flat out lied about his executive order. He lied about hydraulic fracking, which he did in executive order. I'm governor. I know what an executive order is and what it isn't. He did an executive order opposing offshore oil as he's attacking the Biden administration for not doing more drilling. So hypocrisy. DeSantis is attacking the Biden administration and a lie and caught red-handed by Haley. One of the things that uh, Ron DeSantis also talked about was crime yep. and specifically talked about crime here in mm -hmm. your state of California. Let's listen to that. Yeah. <laughs> I guess they don't want to play that clip. <laughs> because I'm just so tired of She's texting on her phone. Where's that clip? Good, don't play it. <laughs> well, I, I want to, and this may be an opportunity I appreciate, uh, to look up uh, Jacksonville, Florida, and he may want to familiar, familiarize himself with Miami, Florida, and his homicide rates, which are 100% higher than San Francisco. Crime rates in his own backyard. He has a higher homicide rate statewide, 16% higher than the state of California. Uh, for whatever reason, he didn't bring up Tennessee, Arkansas, South Carolina. He didn't bring up Texas, all with higher crime rates than the state of California. Uh, this is an old trope. I mean, if you're in New York, so I think people are getting a little exhausted uh, by the fact that we're focusing on New York's uh, crime rate and not the crime rate in these other Republican-led. I don't know. The, hypo the hypocrisy knows no bounds. Well, we want, I think, believe, I believe, maybe it was 1990. 10% of all cars sold by the year 2000, if I remember the numbers correctly, to be zero emission vehicles. So what did we end up with was that the car companies are trying to make battery powered vehicles that look like glorified golf carts or maybe those little rigs you saw on Fantasy Island that Tattoo was driving around in to be legitimate. Eight out of the top ten well, you, murder states. You're not going to say states. that your home city of San Francisco is in good shape. Uh, I'm saying that crime's a real issue. <laughs> you're not going to say that your home state, San Francisco, is not in good shape. Crime is an issue. But I find the hypocrisy the unwillingness to be honest with the American people and the unwillingness to take responsibility. Okay. Sacramento prosecutor is suing California's capital city over failure to clean up homeless encampments. Sacramento DA says his office asked the city to enforce laws around sidewalk obstruction and to create additional professionally operated camping sites. He says the city is seeing a collapse into chaos and an erosion of everyday life. In Republican states, eight out of the top ten well, you, murder states. You're Republican not going to say that your home city of San Francisco is in good shape. Uh, I'm saying that crime's a real issue, but I find the hypocrisy, the un... Basically, oversized golf carts with license plates on trying to somehow meet this mandate. Well, CARB figured that out at the time that it wasn't going to get there, so they relented on it. But now they're not relenting. So we have this mandate, not actually passed by the legis legislature, signed by the governor, but made by the Ca California Air Resources Board, which is famous around the country for being heavy-handed on truckers and uh, off-road vehicles and, and everything about else. The state of California. So here's the funny part. Just a few days after this mandate came out, our uh, esteemed Governor Newsom had to publicly beg electric vehicle owners to not charge their cars due to concerns of the power grid and blackouts. He told them, hey, please don't charge your cars right now because we're, our grid is uh, overstretched during that particular time. So. 
You have uh, also a few months later, when the winter came in, residents in Sierra Nevada lost power for many days due to heavy snowstorms, knocking the power out. So they couldn't heat their homes and do normal things there. But if they had had also an electric vehicle, they couldn't even gotten out of there to go someplace where it was warm or for other needs, you know, maybe emergency medical or what have you. Exactly. Uh, I'm saying that crime's a real issue, but I find the hypocrisy, the well, it's a bad situation with no a solution on the horizon. We all have heard about the homelessness being an emergency. Mayor Bass in particular is talking about working with a renewed sense of urgency to bring people inside. We don't see that sense of urgency at this location near the middle school. This sprawling encampment fills one side of the street. Take a look at the conditions. Shocking even by L.A. homeless standards. Yes, that's a discarded Where's jacuzzi Newsom? tub with bicycle parts inside and so much more. Debris, flies, filth. All this home to Josie for the past four months. I lost my job and, you know, and I can catch up on my bills. She lives with her boyfriend in a wooden shack complete with electricity connected to a power pole. She's been off. How the heck did they... I didn't know you could plug into a power pole. And where are these people going to the bathroom? And the unwillingness to take responsibility, Ron DeSantis take responsibility for his own crime rates and his own major... And tonight, a federal appeals court declined to modify an injunction in a high-profile lawsuit in San Francisco over enforcing the law on homeless camps. In December, a judge temporarily barred the city from clearing camps if it doesn't have a housing option for the unhoused. City Attorney David Chu said he sought to modify the order so it would not apply to involuntary homeless individuals who refused to accept shelter. But today, the... That curious, not surprising, and I offer that as a point of contrast and consideration. That's all. One of the big... Uh... He just had so much to offer. He had so much to offer. Discussions, points of discussions were, excuse me, was immigration. Uh, Vivek Ramaswamy talked about wanting to militarize the border and no birthright citizenship. Nikki Haley talking about defunding sanctuary cities and states. Yeah like yours yeah. uh, and and it went and went on and on which what is what should happen defund them let's just first talk about take those point by point i'm just curious about the birthright citizenship the point that he made and and others on the stage made that um if you're a diplomat your kids are not american citizens so why should an illegal well, uh, uh, undoc I, undocumented immigrant yeah i i, I just, just got I completely disagree with him. We have a, a different point of view. This is a golden oldie. This comes up in Republican debates. He has a different point of view. Okay. Over and over and over again. Nothing's going to happen in this space. Uh, I remember Trump talking about mass deportations. He wasn't able to achieve that in four years as president. They're doubling down. On wow. Is anybody buying this? Look. We could go on and on. I'm going to wrap this up. I mean, come on. Trump. Trump did this. Trump couldn't get it done. Trump couldn't get it done. <laughs> I mean, look, guys. We all see what's going on. The influx of the illegals all over the country. This guy in his own state is a cesspool of depravity because he doesn't care. But he's telling he's telling us he cares. And hey, he this guy may be running for, for president. I don't know. I mean, who the heck would vote for him? I mean I never thought Biden would win. <laughs> but anyway, there you have it. Um it's just it's just fantasy island. It's fantasy island with these people. And this guy, look at this look on his face, like la 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 la. You know, he's sitting here telling, saying DeSantis is, is the hypocrisy, the hypocrisy of the right. But, but the sleight of hand, don't, don't, you know, don't look at, don't look at California. Yeah, we all see what's going on in California. 
and we're not buying the BS.